Hello community, are you tired of losing stars because nobody ever picks support? Are you done with letting enemies escape with a sliver of health because nobody in your team has a disable? Or are you having troubles with mobility of balanced heroes like this sliding knife boy or permaband cat boys? If your answer is yes, then spread those wings and grab that Chinaman. My name is Shinmen Takizo and this is Electric Chicken Kaja. Not to be mistaken for Chicken Little Diggy and Ultra Fast Speed Guide. Whoopsh. Get ready for non-stop family-friendly bondage action. Flap your way into the battlefield as you unleash the biggest bird on your enemies and slap everyone's faces with your electric whip. And prepare to treat your enemies like the worms they are as you hide around in bushes and jump on their asses. Animal Planet style. What's your command? Kaja's passive is called Watch Me Whip. This is a pro gamer move where he whips enemies with his lasso made of stolen Meralco wires, inflicting magic damage and massive pleasure to multiple enemies. Wait, that's illegal! Every few seconds, Kaja's Latigo gets empowered with the might of Zeus. Doing a basic attack on an enemy will inflict a zap of magic damage bouncing up to four other bitches. Chain Lightning Motherfucker. This is Kaja's main source of rage to harass. It can be aimed at minions in front of you to reach enemies that are chilling in the backline. Kaja's skill 1 is called Don't Touch My Birdie. Now everyone knows that it's 100% rude to touch someone else's birdie. But just in case your enemies have bad manners, press this skill to release an expanding bird protective ring that deals magic damage to enemies and slows down their get the fuck out of here speed. And although protecting your bird is its number one purpose, this skill is also used to clear minion waves fast, deal a huge amount of bitch slappery to your enemies, and hitting your enemies with this electric hula hoop will also reduce the cooldown of your passive, making it a great way to follow up after doing a basic attack. Kaja's skill 2 is called the electric teabag. Dominate your foes by laying down electric balls on their faces. Press this skill to dash to a direction of your choosing and smack that ball onto the enemy. You deal magic damage, slowness effect, and force them to accept their inferiority. The dashing action lets you go through walls and leaves a trail of those loaded balls for your enemies to suck on if they are foolish enough to step on it. This is Kaja's only mobility skill so use it to fly away or chase any fool who dare show their weak ass faces in front of you. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Our turret is under attack. Kaja's skill 3 or ultimate is called the Kidnapper. Arrest your enemies whether they're kids, adults, male, female, animals, plants, or cancerous tumors. Nobody is safe whenever the cooldown of this skill is up. Pressing this skill will immediately wrap your electric tentacle on an enemy in range, turning them into a tasty burrito that you can deliver to your friends by dashing or walking towards your teammates. This disabling skill will remove any free will from your victim and it cannot be removed by using Purify Battle Spell once they're already wrapped. Hey Joe. Yeah? Guess what I'm gonna have for dinner? Okay, well, Chinese. Now that you have fully grown your wings and sharpened your talons, it is time to conquer the skies with these tips and tricks. Take Flicker as the only battle spell you'll ever need. This spell lets you catch all Pokemons by surprise as you pop up in front of them, giving them no time to avoid your ult and inflicting a slight heart attack. Four emblems stop being cancer and pick support over mage, then set it up like this. Movement speed increase because slow birds are non-existent. Hybrid regen for a continuous pump up to your HP and mana. And this last support talent that lets you use your flicker more often and lets you resurrect faster than Jesus every time you feed. For the build, equip a shadow mask because the item name sounds cool and so that you can conceal yourself and walk in on an enemy like it's crouching tiger. Hidden fuck you. Get arcane boots next. 
to deal more damage with your skills and because they fucking remove the most useful support boots in game. Up next, immediately get fleeting time because you got no time to spend waiting on that long ass cooldown of your ultimate. Having this item will allow you to have your ultimate available in all the right moments and it will make it easier for you to make a Kaja montage video. Follow it up with a necklace of Durans to prevent enemies from maining Estes or Rafaela. Get this every game as enemies will always have lifesteal or spell vamp in their items at least. It is also very useful to reduce the shield that enemies gain from skills and items. And because your stupid mage allies won't get it and wanna focus on magic damage items. After you're done with your core items, get defensive items like Athena's shield that gives you a barrier that absorbs both physical and magic damage. Then wrap it up with immortality to immediately rise from the ashes upon death like a true phoenix. Predict where your enemies are going by waiting inside a nearby bush, maybe near their jungle buff or jungle monster, and as soon as they show their ass, immediately flicker in and wrap them with your ult. They will have no way to react. If an ally damage dealer you are supporting uses skill shots or skills that tend to miss, make sure that you don't move around too much after kidnapping an enemy hero. This will help them hit their skills and you both can have a good time. At the start of the game, take skill 1 and max it first, take your ultimate when available and max skill 2 last. Get the mask to rush shadow mask as early as you can. It is very important that you head to the mid lane to assist your mid laner in getting the first blood. First blood. You gotta be kidding me. It is also crucial that you join team fights where your mid laner is involved so that you along with other supports can give him the kill. You have slain an enemy. An enemy has been slain. And if you see any low health enemies, especially mages, don't be afraid to dive in and finish them off to secure the kill. You have been slain. This is the worst! At level 4 when you unlock your ultimate, look for a lone enemy and use your flicker ult combo to have your baby chick teammates enjoy the treat. In stealing objectives like the turtle, patience is the key. With the right timing, you can secure the last hit and all the efforts of the enemy team go to waste. The enemy has slain the turtle. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. And look at Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch like out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! You can also use your conceal in the middle of a team fight to at least hide your damage dealer while they try to get away. And like I said earlier, sometimes you gotta keep the enemy in place during your ult so allies can burst them down without missing their skill shots. Gushin, what the frick? Okay. Good job. Using your flicker ult whenever both skills are up is very important, especially when you have damage dealers around like this carry. She can easily burst down a Tarisla, so get in there and get that kill. You have been slain. Shut down. Enemy killing request. An ally has been slain. Fuck. I'm getting sick and tired getting embarrassed by you guys, so for that. You paid a high price of one lord. Launch attack ally has slain lord. Keep dragging your enemies through the ground like a pissed off mafia boss and assist your familia to achieve total domination like a true expert wingman. And always remember Chickens are dinosaurs. Fucking My name is Shin Mentagzo and this is Kaja, an ultra fast speed guide. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace! Hello, what is up guys, Shin Mentagzo here and I just want to thank you for watching this video and I just want to take this moment
to tell you that I apologize for not being on for a while and I really appreciate the support and for the people who checked up on me and sorry if you didn't get any replies or whatsoever I just didn't want to bug anyone with whatever personal issues that I'm having but yeah we're uh, we're back season 14 baby